I'd like to bring this meeting of the Piscataway Township Council to order. Adequate notice of this meeting has been provided as required under Chapter 231, PL 1975, specifying the time, date, location, login, or dial-in information, and to the extent known, the agenda by posting a copy of the notice on the municipal building, municipal court, and the two municipal library bulletin boards, municipal website, providing a copy to the official newspapers of the township, and by filing a copy in the office of the township clerk in accordance with certification by, by the clerk, which will be entered in the minutes. There will be public comment periods for both remote and in-person attendees separately. Each member of the public shall have only one opportunity to speak during each public portion. As the technology does not allow us to know if there are multiple callers on an individual phone line or logged in user account, we ask that if you wish to speak that you log in or dial in separately so that we may recognize you as a separate individual. Should you have any further comments or questions, the Township Council is always available by email and phone and you can always call the mayor's office during normal operating hours. Ms. Cedar, would you please take the roll call? Councilwoman Carmichael? Here. Councilman Espinosa? Here. Councilwoman Lombardi? Here. Councilman Rouse? Here. Councilman Shaw? Councilman Shaw, can you unmute yourself? Councilman Erin? Here. Council President Cahill? Here. Would you please join me in a salute to our flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Are there any comments from administration and council regarding adjournment of any matters on this agenda? Seeing none, we'll bring us to number six. Number six will be open to the public. This is comments regarding item number 11, the consent agenda items. Just as a reminder, this is for item number 11, the consent agenda items. Um, if you wish to speak at this time, please raise your, oh, this is for the remote attendees uh, first. If you wish to speak at this time, please raise your hand either on the Zoom app or if by phone by pressing star nine. When it is your turn to speak, you will receive or hear a request to unmute yourself. Please click the prompt or press star six on your phone to unmute yourself. At that time, please state your name and address and know that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. The council or administration will respond if necessary after you have completed any comments or questions. Council President, there are no remote attendees with their hand raised regarding this agenda item. Okay, so we'll close the remote attendee public portion and we'll open it up for uh, folks here in person. If you wish to speak at this time, please come to the podium, state your name and address, and know that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. You may take a seat after completion of your comments or questions, and the council or administration will then respond if necessary. Just as a reminder, this are, um, is for item number 11, which are the consent agenda items. Okay, seeing none at this time, I'm gonna close the public portion. That'll bring us to number seven. This is an ordinance on second reading. This is authorizing amendment to redevelopment plan block 3702, lots 1.02 and two, which are 10 Normandy Drive and two Hancock Road. It will be open to the public and it is a resol resolution adopting ordinance. Ms. Cedar, would you please read the resolution? Be it resolved by the Township Council of Piscataway Township, New Jersey, that an ordinance entitled, an ordinance authorizing amended redevelopment plan for block 3702, lots 1.02 and two, 10 Normandy Drive and 2 Hancock Road, as shown on the tax map of the Township of Piscataway, was introduced on the first day of October 2024 and had passed the first reading and was published on the fourth day of October 2024. 
Now, therefore, be it resolved that the aforesaid ordinance, having had a second reading on November 7th, 2024, be adopted, passed, and after passage, be published together with a notice of the date of passage or approval in the official newspaper. Be it further resolved that this ordinance shall be assigned number 2024-26. Thank you, Ms. Cedar. <coughs> and we'll now open up to the public, to the remote attendees. <coughs> If you wish to speak at this time, please raise your hand either on the Zoom app or if by phone by pressing star nine. When it is your turn to speak, you will receive or hear a request to unmute yourself. Please click the prompt or press star six on your phone to unmute yourself. At that time, please state your name and address and know that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. The council or administration will respond if necessary after you've completed any comments or questions. Council President, there are no remote attendees with their hand raised regarding this agenda item. Thank you. We'll close the remote attendee portion and we'll open it up to the public for people who are here in person. If you wish to speak at this time, please come to the podium, state your name and address, and know that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. You may take a seat after completion of your comments or questions, and the council or administration will then respond if necessary. Seeing none, I'm going to close the public portion for the in-person attendees. Um, and Council, now I'll um, ask to see if I have an offer for this item. Offer and comment. Do I have a second? Councilman Aaron, second. Thank you. Ms. Cedar, would you please take the roll call? Councilwoman Carmichael? Yes. Councilman Espinosa? Yes. Councilwoman Lombardi? Yes. Councilman Rouse? Yes. Councilman Shaw? Councilman Uren? Yes. Council President Cahill? Yes, and the ordinance passes on second reading. That'll bring us to number eight, which is also an ordinance on second reading. This is construction of local improvements, sidewalks on Ethel Road, West Frontage, Block 9001, Lots 44.14, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59.02, and 60, and Block 9101, Lots 50, 51.01, and 53.02, and Block 9201, Lots 44 and 45, and Block 9301, Lots 52.03, 53.01, and 54.05. It will be open to the public, and it is a resolution adopting ordinance. Ms. Cedar, would you please read the resolution? Be resolved by the Township Council of Piscataway Township, New Jersey, that an ordinance entitled Ordinance to Provide for the Construction of Local Improvement Sidewalks on the Ethel Road West Frontage of all the blocks and lots that she just read on the Township of Piscataway tax map, as permitted under NJSA 40 colon 65 1, was introduced on the first day of October 2024, and it passed the first reading and was published on the fourth day of October 2024. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the aforesaid ordinance, having had a second reading on November 7, 2024, be adopted, passed, and after passage be published, together with a notice of the date of passage or approval in the official newspaper. Be it further resolved that this ordinance shall be assigned number 2024-27. Thank you, Ms. Cedar. And now we'll open it up to the public for the remote attendees. If you wish to speak at this time, please raise your hand either on the Zoom app or if by phone by pressing star nine. When it is your turn to speak, you will receive or hear a request to unmute yourself. Please click the prompt or press star six on your phone to unmute yourself. At that time, please state your name and address and know that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. The council or administration will respond if necessary after you've completed any comments or questions. Council President, there are no remote attendees with their hand raised regarding this agenda item. I will close the remote attendee public portion and open it up to um, the public who are here in person. If you wish to speak at this time, please come to the podium, state your name and address, and know that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. You may take a seat after completion of your comments or questions, and the council or administration will then respond if necessary. Seeing none in the public here in person, I'm going to close that portion. Now I'll open it up to the council. Do I have an offer? Offer, offer. Councilwoman Lombardi. 
I think that was the first and the second there. Councilwoman uh, Carmichael second. Ms. Cedar, would you please take the roll call? Councilwoman Carmichael? Yes. Councilman Espinosa? Yes. Councilwoman Lombardi? Yes. Councilman Rouse? Yes. Councilman Shaw? Councilman Erin? Yes. Council President Cahill? Yes, and the ordinance passes on second reading. That'll bring us to number nine, which is an ordinance on first reading. This is amending and supplementing various chapters of the municipal co code, and it is a resolution adopting ordinance. Ms. Cedar, would you please read the resolution? Be resolved by the Township Council for Scattery Township, New Jersey, that an ordinance entitled Ordinance to Amend and Supplement the Revised General Ordinances of the Township of Piscataway County of Middlesex, State of New Jersey, amending Chapter 2 Administration, Chapter 4 Licensing and Business Regulations, Chapter 5 Animal Control, Chapter 7 Traffic, Chapter 19 Fire Prevention and Protection, Chapter 30 Protection of Trees, and Chapter 33 Energy, B and is hereby adopted on the first reading, that it be published in the official newspaper, and that a second reading of public hearing be held at 7.30 p.m. prevailing time at the Piscataway Municipal Building, 455 Hose Lane, Piscataway, New Jersey, on the 26th day of November 2024. Be it further resolved that a copy of this ordinance shall be posted in at least two public places within the township prior to the day of the second reading and final passage, and a copy of this ordinance shall be made available at the office of the township clerk for any interested member of the public. Thank you, Ms. Cedar. Do I have an offer? I'll take Carmichael. Do I have a second? Second, Dennis. Ms. Cedar, would you please take the roll call vote? Councilwoman Carmichael? Yes. Councilman Espinosa? Yes. Councilwoman Lombardi? Yes. Councilman Rouse? Yes. Councilman Shaw? Councilman Aaron? Yes. Council President Cahill? Yes, and the ordinance passes on first reading. That'll bring us to number 10, which is also an ordinance on first reading. This is a bond ordinance for various capital improvements, 16200000 $11,488,200. It is a resolution adopting ordinance. Ms. Cedar, would you please read the resolution? Be resolved by the Township Council for Scattery Township, New Jersey, that an ordinance entitled Bond Ordinance providing for various capital improvements in and by the Township of Piscataway in the County of Middlesex, New Jersey, appropriating $16,200,000 therefore and authorizing the issuance of $11,488,200 bonds or notes of the Township to finance part of the cost thereof, being is hereby adopted on the first reading, that it be published in the official newspaper and that a second reading of public hearing be held at 7.30 p.m. prevailing time at the Piscataway Municipal Building, 455 Hose Lane, Piscataway, New Jersey, on the 26th day of November 2024. Be it further resolved that a copy of this ordinance shall be posted in at least two public places within the township prior to the day of the second reading and final passage, and a copy of this ordinance shall be made available at the office of the township clerk for any interested member of the public. Thank you, Ms. Cedar. Do I have an offer? Offer, Espinosa. Do I have a second? Second, Councilwoman Lombardi. And if I could have, I would have third it because uh, I see the road improvements on here and parks and sidewalks and such, and I see the grants. Um, with that, Ms. Cedar, would you please take a roll call vote? Councilwoman Carmichael? Yes. Councilman Espinosa? Yes. Councilwoman Lombardi? Yes. Councilman Rouse? Yes. Councilman Shaw? Councilman Erin? Yes. Council President Cahill? Yes, and the ordinance passes on first reading. That will bring us to number 11, which are the consent agenda items. <coughs> For efficiency, items have been consolidated into a consent agenda to be voted on together. The materials for these items have been distributed to the council in advance of the meeting. At this time, are there any items that the council would like removed from the consent agenda to be discussed or voted on separately? Seeing none, I'll um, ask, do I have an offer for the consent agenda items? Offer, Councilwoman Lombardi. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second, second Rouse. Thank you. Ms. Cedar, would you please take a roll call vote? Councilwoman Carmichael? Yes. Councilman Espinosa? Yes. Councilwoman Lombardi? Yes. Councilman Rouse? Yes. Councilman Shaw? Councilman Erin? Yes. 
Council President Cahill. Yes, and the consent agenda items passed. That'll bring us to number 12. This is a resolution for fire district numbers one, two, and three, commissioner's compensation. Ms. Cedar, would you please read the resolution? Uh, so we're just gonna do it by the title that you read. Yes. Yeah, sure. Sorry, <laughs> by the title. <laughs> okay, do I have an offer? Well, I'll take you on, Michael. Do I have a second? Second, that's an offer. Ms. Cedar, would you please take a roll call vote? Councilwoman Carmichael? Yes. Councilman Espinosa? Yes. Councilwoman Lombardi? Abstain. Councilman Rouse? Yes. Councilman Shaw? Councilman Aaron? Yes. Council President Cahill? Yes. Resolution passes. This will bring us to number 13. This is a discussion for best practices checklist. So it was sent out to all the uh, members of the council and it was submitted to the state and uh, we did very well. Yep. We absolutely have to do, yep. right? The requirement of the state we submitted to DCA. And, and we did well. And Daniel did it and he did a terrific job on it. Okay, excellent, so no issues, great. Okay, with that, that brings us to number 14. This is announcements and comments from officials. Councilwoman Carmichael. Thank you, Madam President. Um, just would like to say that with Monday, November 11th being Veterans Day, I uh, just want to thank all of our veterans, um, those here in Piscataway and uh, around the country for their service and I uh, hope we all have a pleasant, uneventful Veterans Day. Thank you, Councilwoman Carmichael. Councilman Espinosa? I, I echo uh, Councilwoman uh, Carmichael's um, for Veterans Day. I also wanna add that there's a Shred and Forget It um, program coming up November 16th. Uh, it's the last one of the year, so get them paper shredded, or, you know, take advantage of that program. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Councilwoman Lombardi. Just to piggyback on the Veterans Day, um, Colleen Pagano was in the salon today and they do have a service. It's on 11, 11 at 11 o'clock in the front of the American Legion if anyone's interested in joining. Oh, that's great. So at 11 a.m. on Monday? Yes. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Councilman Rouse? No comment. Councilman Shaw. I think he's having trouble unmuting. Shaw. Okay, no Sorry. problem. Okay, uh, Councilman Earn. No comment. Mr. Mayor. Great event today over at the uh, Senior Center for the Veterans. Want to thank uh, Amy and her team for helping out. That's great. Business Administration. <laughs> Daisy. Nothing tonight. Nothing. Councilor. No comment. Thank you. No comment. And I'll just uh, echo what my uh, colleague said, uh, you know, Veterans Day, we, we thank a veteran, right? Memorial Day is when we remember those who um, uh, paid the ultimate sacrifice for our freedoms. Um, so I will personally thank my Uncle John for his service um, on Monday. Um, let's remember those vets and let's pay them the respect that they are due. All right, that'll bring us to number 15, which is the agenda session for the November 12th, 2024 council meeting. The first item will be an ordinance on first reading. This is amending and supplementing various chapters of the municipal code. It is a resolution adopting ordinance. Are there any comments or questions from council on this or administration? No, seeing none, that will be on. The next will be a resolution authorizing award of professional services contract additional remedial investigation, chlorinated solvents impact case at Piscataway Township DPW facility, CME Associates not to exceed $178,260. Or $178, Are there any comments or questions regarding this item? Seeing none, that will be on. 
The next item is a resolution authorizing award of professional services contract, additional remedial investigation and remedial action, groundwater petroleum impact case at Piscataway Township DPW facility, CME Associates, not to exceed $98,800. Are there any comments or questions on this? Seeing none, that will be on. The next item will be a resolution authorizing Chapter 159, LA-2024, MA Piscataway Township, Le Levgar Street, Improvements 12. Any comments or questions on this one? This is additional money, uh, Tim, coming in? It's uh, uh, In addition to what was uh, in the bond ordinance? No, uh, no, this is what's included as a deposit in the bond ordinance. So okay, okay, it's gotcha. It's uh, this year's local aid for the city. Okay, awesome. Okay, thank you. All right. Um, did I ask if anyone had any issues with that or comments or questions? Seeing none, okay, that'll be on. Um, the next item will be a resolution authorizing return of escrow, Block 5302, Lot 1.02, which is 521 Stelton Road, 23-ZB-8485V. Are there any comments or questions regarding this item? Seeing none, that will be on. The next will be a resolution authorizing return of engineering and inspection fees. Block 7907, Lot 1.01, .01, which is 181 Lakeside Drive North. Block 5203, lots 1.01, 5.02, 16.01, and 19.01, which are 451 Stelton Road, and that is 19PB-19. Uh, well, that's a long time to do without some money. Uh, any comments or questions from that? Okay, seeing none, that'll be on. Um, Next one will be a resolution authorizing release of landscape driveway bonds, block 7907, lot 1.01, .01, which are 8181 Lakeside Drive North, and landscape bond only, block 6410, lot 1, which are 515 Crestwood Street. Any comments or questions on that item? Seeing none, that'll be on. The next will be a resolution authorizing return of safety and stabilization guarantee, block 4102, Lot 730 Duke Road, 21PB-0304 V. Any comments or questions from council on this? Seeing none, that'll be on. Next one will be a resolution author authorizing return of temporary certificate of occupancy guarantee, Block 4202, Lot 7, which is 23PB-1516 V. Are there any comments or questions regarding this item? Seeing none, that'll be on. The next is a resolution authorizing award of professional services contract. This is appraisals for Meister Street Sockler Realty Services Group, um, not to exceed $6,600. Are there any comments or questions regarding this item? Seeing none, that'll be on. The next item is a resolution authorizing award of bid, HVAC maintenance services, one year with second year option, Unitemp Inc not to exceed $184,796. Any comments or questions from council regarding this item? Seeing none, that will be on. Next is a resolution authorizing award of bid, 2025-2026 janitorial services, Excel facility services, not to exceed $97,209.16. Any comments or questions from council on this? See none, that will be on. Next is a resolution authorizing budget transfers. Any comments or questions regarding this item? Or yearly. Next is a resolution authorizing award of contract through Somerset County Cooperative Red Dyed Number no. 2 Ultra Low Sulfur Diesel Supply National Fuel Oil Inc. not to exceed $145,000. Are any comments or questions on this item? Seeing none, that will be on. The next is a resolution authorizing appraisal of 550 Hose Lane, Block 11319, Lot 9.01, acquisition for additional community center parking. Any comments or questions regarding this item? That's 550 Hose Lane? That lo I didn't realize that. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, good. Uh, no comments or questions, right? Seeing that, that'll be on. 
Next will be a resolution authorizing award of professional services contract information technology Atlantic IT. Any comments or questions regarding this item? Seeing none, that will be on. And lastly, a resolution authorizing advertising for IT services. Any comments or questions on this item? Seeing none, that will be on. All right, we got through that. Uh, now we'll open it up to the public for our, our remote attendees. If you wish to speak at this time, please raise your hand either on the Zoom app or if by phone by pressing star nine. When it is your turn to speak, you will receive or hear a request to unmute yourself. Please click the prompt or press star six on your phone to unmute yourself. At that time, please state your name and address and know that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. The council or administration will respond if necessary after you have completed any comments or questions. Council President, there are no remote attendees with their hand raised regarding this agenda item. Thank you, Ms. Cedar. We'll close the remote attendee public portion. We'll open it up for folks who are here in person for public comment. If you wish to speak at this time, please come to the podium, state your name and address, and know that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. You may take a seat after completion of your comments or questions, and the council or administration will then respond if necessary. And I will just add on, if you're coming to speak and you haven't been here for a while, you'll need to keep it fixed? It's fixed, never mind. Please come Please to the, the just talk into the mic. Please come to the podium, state your name and address. Are you on the mic? I got him over here, Susan. Thank you. It's on. Sid and Sue Madison, 176 Blackford Avenue. Um, at first, I'd like to acknowledge that Piscataway is doing much to go green and to deal with climate change. Um, uh, I have a uh, proposal that to change um, some of the ordinances about uh, what's of uh, what can be done in terms of construction. Uh, that was sent to you last week, and um, it does not uh, it does not uh, have much emotion to it. It's a piece of paper, so I decided that I would come here and provide some real feeling to to what uh, the part of the presentation is, and um, I'm going to do that by talking like cowboys, where the guy in the white hat is the good guy and the guy in the black hat's the bad guy. And in in the case of climate, there are no white guys anymore. The, the hats are all gray. And I can tell you they're gray because it's been a long time since we've done what we should have done. For example, the Kyoto Protocol was set, uh, was done over 25 years ago. And the idea was to bring emissions down. It's now 25 years later. Emissions have not come down. They've gone up, and they're still very high. So instead of having a white hat, we've got a very gray hat at this point. The black hat, uh, which is represented by the fossil fuel industry, is just getting shinier all the time. They, they keep us from doing anything. Um, they, they continue to build fossil fuel infrastructure, which will not allow the world to keep the increase in global warming to two degrees, let alone the aspirational goal of 1.5 degrees. So I'd like to look at two um, impacts of what they've done. And if you'll allow my wife, she'll bring up uh, a handout for the council members and uh, the mayor.
Yep, now you got one that you can take home. We haven't got color, or in the packet, it's not, in the packet, it's not colored. Uh, okay, is, okay, is this one color? Shows up a little better. I, I know it's in the packet, um, yeah, and uh, I, I provided it because I want to take one of the items, which is next to the bottom, which is called coral reefs, and emphasize the point that the reason we have gray hats is that we're already at 70 to 90 percent of coral reefs being destroyed. That's why we have gray hats. We haven't done a good job so far. And that's why it makes more important to do a, a much better job as we go forward. So th that's one of the impacts that I want to make, make a point about. Um, and I'd like to just read a little, it, a little bit about that. Coral reefs support six million fishers in nearly 100 countries. Reefs account for 10 to 12 percent of the fish caught in tropical countries and 20 to 25 percent of the fish caught in developing nations. Across the tropical Pacific nations, it's estimated that 90 percent of their daily protein is is comes directly from the adjacent reefs. So when these coral reefs go away, the protein for a, a lot of people is going away. And what I'm trying to do is to show you that just one of, of what is a, a very long list, and it, it, doesn't, it's, it doesn't really tell you. If, you. if you don't read it and understand that a lot of people are not going to have protein the same way they used to have it, all because we haven't dealt with, dealt with climate. S okay, the second uh, area I'd like to emphasize is that we need see if I have a, a number here. I don't have a number here. I think I may have it included on the back of that sheet that I gave it to you. Does it say something about to take one ton of emissions out of the atmosphere, cost optimistically $100? I've heard numbers from three to $600 with current technology. But you see we're putting 40 billion tons in every year. The, the thing that's going to have to be done by, by uh, future generations is just unbelievable. And that comes back to the point, the less we put in, the better off we're going to be. And one of the things that, and this is all relative to what I submitted to the council. Any questions? Thank you, Mr. Madison. But we do have all of these items. Are there any comments from the council to Mr. Madison? No, any questions? I think Mr. Madison, we'd all welcome to converse with you after the meeting. Okay, thank you. I know I will. Um, is there anyone else in the public who would like to speak? May do so at this time. Please come to the podium. State your name and address and note that you have three minutes which to speak. And yes, I did give Mr. Madison a little extra time, but that was because he had some things to show us. <laughs> so um, if we could stick with you, Mike. Thank you. Hi, Mr. Hadfield. Good evening. Mm. This is a, uh, I'm requesting an update. The last time I asked about a place to have the meeting for the zoning and planning board, 
At that time, it was suggested that you guys are looking in to having it <coughs> down at the, uh, the new center. Any update on that? Um, the answer is, is that we're, we're, at, we're, gonna, we're out to bid on the building. Um, so we'll see what the bid numbers come in at David, and we'll know, we'll know in about a month. We're to move to move the uh, engineering and planning. Yeah, yeah the old Italian American Club building, and that will free up the space. For that. Did you hear that, David? Yeah. We're out to well bid. That's, that's great if it works that way, because this way they won't have to move anything when it comes to have the meeting. So that would be good. All right, that's all I have to say at this point, and uh, I'll be checking back in with you and in that regard. Thank you, Mr. Adkins. You're welcome. Is there anyone else in the public wishing to speak at this time? Please come to the podium, state your name and address, and note that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. Gustav Vestinio, 58 Curtis. Ordinance violations is a danger to the Piscataway residents, the way I see it. Seventh and Curtis, that intersection, ah, even Dunkin' Donuts has a violation of ordinance for their drive through That intersection is a danger to the public. Seventh and Mesville, where you put your re-electment sign, is a danger to the public. It's an ordinance violation. Going down to Southern and Clinton, how come you didn't put your re-electment sign in that mud hole? Yeah? You wouldn't do that. You put it in my face. Judges, justices, is non-existent here. The Scattaway resident complaint is not existent. I didn't bother your re-election sign this time. You put it there again, Mayor, I'm going to take it down. And I'll be here. I, I just want to let the record reflect he wasn't charged last time, and he probably should have been. But if you do that, that is a criminal charge. Right. So I my advice to you is you better get some legal advice. I'll do that. Okay. I'll take the six months in jail for the state. Oh, I have a complaint. And I wish to summons the mayor for negligence. Thank you, sir. Is there anyone else in the public wishing to speak? You may do so at this time. Please come to the podium, state your name and address, and note that you have three minutes in which to speak. All right, good evening. Curtis Webb, 1750 West Third. First of all, I want to say, um, Thank you to the council, those who know. Um, I just recently lost my wife. Uh, my family wants to personally tell Mr. Frank and the mayor that they did attend. And they want me to make sure I told you personally, but above and beyond for both of you guys. So with that, thank you again. Now we... Um, we're having problems with uh, Hazelwood. Um, recently, about a month and a half ago, we had eight cars break, broken into. Mine was one, my neighbor's. Mine, personally, I know was unlocked. We had a guy must be walking around, checking the doors. If it's open, he baffles the cars. This one happened two days after my wife was deceased, and he got in my car got in a couple of the neighbors. Um, a couple weeks, just last week, we got one car on the corner 
are popular in, in third. I discussed this with Frank. There is a camera, we have cameras due to the situation we had years. There's a camera on the corner where this lady parks her car. My assumption was we have this guy now. This camera had to catch him. I called and my reply was the camera is not working. Now I need to understand why. The cameras were put there for a purpose of the problem we had years. Now, do we think the problems are gone and we turn them off or we turn them on when we want to turn them on? No, the problem, the problem is you lost the server that they were on. So we had the company come out and I believe they were on a temporary server. They were put on a temporary server. The server was sent for rebuilding and when that server was done, they, they took it off the temporary. But Officer Riley is going to look into it tomorrow because we should have the we should have the video footage from yes. anything recent. If it was last week, we should have that. Yes. Uh, whoever you're talking to, the police department, I don't think no, knows that because Joe's Joe's the guy that handles this type of stuff, and like the dispatchers, no, nobody really knows the technical stuff. So Joe is going to look into it, and uh, we'll get back to you. Okay, the other issue, and quickly, what are we doing with um, Hazelwood? I see a whole lot of streets getting done. Here we sit. Curtis, it's still under engineering design. It's not just Hazelwood, it's Pearl Place, too. So when we get to the point where we're hiring appraisers, then you're getting close. Like, for instance, tonight, we're hi we hired an appraiser for Meister Street. That means we're getting close. That means we have to acquire easements or, you know, right of way off to make to which they move. So when when you see that, then we're getting close. Okay. Again, I want to thank thank you for the work I had to get done to get. When there's no work, you help me out. Thank you. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. Grubbs. I just think that um, I mean. Each member here has probably said something to you, but I can just say to you from this board that um, you are a treasured member of this township. You advocate for your neighborhood, and that is admirable. And we are um, just have the deepest compassion and um, just know that any one of us here, you can call at any time, and you're going to get a visit from Bertie. <laughs> <laughs> oh. She's going to come oh. and say hi. All right, we're forward. very sorry for your loss. Appreciate it. Learning how to deal with it. That's all. Thank you. Yeah. You have a good night. Is there anyone else in the public wishing to speak at this time? You may do so. Please come to the podium, state your name and address, and note that you have three minutes in which to make your comment. Seeing none, I'll close the public portion for in-person attendees. That'll bring us to number 18, which is an adjournment. Do I have an offer? Offer. Do I have a second? second. Before we get a second. All second. those in favor, say aye. Aye. I just, uh, before I forget, I wanted to congratulate our council president for her reelection. Congratulations, uh, uh, and I, I'm so proud of, of you and, and working with you. So congratulations. The mayor was Thank you. Elected. And, and the, mayor. the mayor as well. <laughs> thank, thank you, council. That was very, very nice. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Um, okay, so then we have our uh, first and second, right? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any nays? We are adjourned. <laughs>